Sometimes it all depends. It all depends on um, what I what I do. It's like I this is just me. If I was on the motif, and um, because I honestly don't don't care too much about the before it comes to the grand piano. Like it's it's good. But my thing is with this, if I'm gonna use the before it comes to the grand piano, the reverb has to go. On the release, it's got to be like a negative seven, a negative six, and then cut off the time. I cut off to like the fifty-five or something. Like that. You can see how it's sounding. Not got one anyway. 
Christian Bishop, man, he's 17. I can't touch Christian. I'm sorry. Like, I'm literally, like, every every day I always watch videos like Mike Morell and all that kind of junk, man. I always get better at what I do. Thank you, God, for blessing you too. Because you don't want to pay $49 to watch a DVD. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love the, you know, Soul and Folks DVDs. Bro. But, man, I ain't got time to be, I ain't got time to be paying twenty dollars for this watch a video of of, of 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 some musician and all that, you know. Like yeah, like they good, but it's like man, I ain't got that kind of money like that, dude. I wish I buy every DVD. If I was there, I would I would be in an altar call so they can just repent me about this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm sorry. Yes, Lord. I'd be, I'd be in that mud, man. Lord, have mercy. What is that? Oh, I'm talking about this. Man, if, if, I got this from PJ Morgan. He be doing this with two fingers. Like... Just hitting like random notes. It, bro, like, like it. Um, trust me, it'll it, it work. It'll work. Like if you just do, you get these two fingers and you just hear random notes. Okay, I'm not playing the top board, but you get these two fingers and you just playing the. You can be the two fingers. Like, The Stranger Range, and I was watching your band. You was on Aunt's thing, but I love that arrangement. I might do a cover on it. I said, Shout out to these guys that just rhymed me. Ooh, I want to play this arrangement. Man, what was that junk? That is what happened when you lose the thank God for the sun of God. Yes, Lord. Let's talk. Jay Quicks. Everybody asks me about my loop. They want my loop. But I got a, I got another loop or a West Coast bump. I call it the West Coast bump because it sounds like a West Coast feel to it. I, to me, it does. I don't know how it even would sound for y'all, but if you want it, you want it. I need to. Jonathan, tell him. I, I, I was about to take up for you, man. 
Because I, Wakuna is my boy. Wakuna, like, I love him, man, but come on, Wakuna, man. Too grand, man. That, J, J Nation, bro. When you were talking about Juby, the one, the dude, I'm nobody. Well, if you was a nobody, you wouldn't be on it. Never mind, I'm going to keep that to myself. Fly out of the Bumblebee. Fly the bone. Man, we're calm guitar. He's retarded. Trying to get him down here so he can show me some fast fingers though. What up, man? What up, everybody? Now, nah, if my phone is off, bro, just know that it's dead. Okay. I'm 16, everyone, 16. That doesn't mean I'm Jesus or anything, so. Black History song. Now, I forgot. I forgot this one was Black History. My bad. Did y'all know that Black History is African American history? So 
I gotta play some African American history songs. You know? I don't got perfect pitch. Oh my god, y'all. The Lord is gonna bless you. What's a perfect pitch? is here. Bubba! Bubba! What's up, Bubba? Bubba is in the Send you no tracks if you're gonna throw your stuff off. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. He talking about throwing his stuff out the window, and he wanted me to send him some tracks. Okay, so how I'm gonna send him some tracks, and his stuff is out the window. Common sense, duh. Now, if you throw your stuff out the window, and I send you the tracks, by quickly you don't want them. That's what you're telling me, right? So you throw your stuff out. You throw your stuff out the window. And then I on, you know what? I'm not. How much it is to get you to travel? Um, oh, uh, um, uh, ooh, I, I don't know. Let, I gotta pray about that, man. But, but let, let me think about that. Let me first. Let me talk to moms, cause she's my manager at this point. Like, you know, mom, I gotta go here. You know, by mom, you know, hey, mom, folks want me to do this, folks want me to do that, and she got to say, hey, look, I still got like four of your joints. Okay. Okay, four. Thank you. 
Oh, my bad. How's the iCar MPC treating you? Which one? The MPC Studio or uh, the MPC 2000 SL? Because I got the MPC 2000 SL, and I like that better. Um, Why? Because um, the reason why I say that is because I'm when I mean I, 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 I like soft synth. When I mean by soft synth, and musicians might know this, it's pretty much uh, I, I'm a I play sounds off the keyboard or you know, I, I play sounds off the laptop. Man. Um, <clears throat> James Vigua, man, hey, yo, dad is the beast, man. Pass the whales, man. He, yo, brother too, Reggie, all of y'all, man. But for real though, um, yeah, man, like I love the MPC 2000 SL better because, um, you know, of course it's going out, out the stereo out and all that, and then on top of that, um. Uh, the MPC studio is off, based off uh, running off your laptop, whatever. Um, pretty much, I'm using main stage slash contact slash any type of virtual instrument plugins you could think of, and I'm using it running into main stage. Okay, so nine times out of ten, I don't have it a lot of RAM or RAM processor or storage, what you want to call it. Um, but um. You know, all I know is um, that once you get it, you know, and it starts here, that's how you have pretty much a, a lot, you know, on your hands or whatever. But, but um, yeah, I like the MPC 2000 SL a little bit better. Um, you know, the only thing I don't like is that you got to get your D's. The, um, I, I have me a, a I got me a uh, floppy um, drive. Not floppy, I'm tripping, a zip drive um, into the MPC. So basically, um, I had to get me um, some zip drive disc discs. Um, I thought I had a floppy disk drive, but when I looked at how it looks and how it, how the disc was shaped, I said, "Oh, I had the wrong one." Uh, I ordered me a floppy disk from MPC Studio, not MPC Studio, but MPCStuff.com. And then uh, I looked like, man, I ordered the wrong thing, cause I, I had this right here for my floppy disk. So I can plug this to my laptop because I have sounds that I want to put in the MPC. So there was the floppy disk, um, um, USB terminal drive where you can put, you know, import your stuff into the floppy disk and yeah, you put in your MPC. Y'all, y'all know. So yeah, you cover exactly twenty four. Y'all don't know. Shut up. <laughs> I have a map. I have a machine studio. Should I go and get the MPC studio? Well. From what from what from what I heard, I heard machine was a good good tool to use. Uh, I know I know one of my mentors in local local on um, my government name um, um Ronald Kobe Martin. His name is Kobe, so that's why I got the name from him. Pretty much, um, 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 he he has a machine, and um the sounds machine sounds are very sick. Um, you know, I like they like I went to his studio and um machine got some good stuff. The only problem um I, I, I won't suggest you go to MPC studio because machine got so much more. Um now if that if you wanna upgrade and that's what you wanna do, hey by all means I, I I won't stop you from upgrading, but but don't don't just go get your MPC studio and not use machine. Because he, I tell musicians all the time. You know, just because there's a product, you know, because I, I made sure well, before I get something, I look at it, you know, I, if I have the money first and then second, research the product, see what was going on with the product and all that kind of stuff. Because nine times out of ten, you want to you wanna be able to work it. When I had the MPC studio, I, was, I stayed up for like four hours or five hours trying to get things done. The, making clips was easy. You know, but you had to drag your samples into the, you know, the program or whatever. And it, man, it's good, man. But machine, you know, it, stick with machine. But if you want to upgrade, upgrade. Um, you know, upgrade. But um, it all depends what you want to do, bro. You're gonna have to teach me how to do all of that, man. <laughs> Play us a hymn, not one of your not one of your favorite. Let's see. There's a whole bunch of hymns that's one of my favorite. Um, what's that song my auntie always be singing?
amazed. Amazing. Like, man, I want. I know this one dude. Hey man, like he he can play, but if I wanted the West Coast sound from NBC, where would I go? Ooh, you asking the wrong person because <laughs> as bad as I wanted them, I I don't have them. But it's all about tweaking. One thing, but one thing, one of my my musician friends would say that if you want something, hear it and try to imitate it a little bit, you know. So I have these sounds. Um, actually, it's, it's on it's on it's on a website. Um, it's called p5audio.com. Um, they got this kit called Mass Production Tools for Mass Production Sounds Kit and some drum samples. Got snares, claps, kits, percussion, all of that. Um. Go go to the website because they got this one clap that I got. It, it's it's it sound sound good. Um, and also you know type in drum samples into just give you give, just give me your hands. That's all. Uh, here you go. <laughs> yeah, man, but for real, man. Um, hey, Ryan, try to inbox me. I I, I see what I can do. <laughs> It's called p5audio.com. Um, I got it's this pack called Tools for Mass Production. Um, uh, it's, it's a one-shot drum sample kit. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Um, hope that hope that works out for you. Um, and to be honest, man, um, you know, I man, I love the West Coast sounds, man. Um, but there's more than just West Coast sounds. You know, I ain't, you know, I, I'm not, you know, trying to, you know, say West Coast ain't that. Like, what West Coast really got me started. I listened to a lot of West Coast before I was on Keys. I listened to a lot of um, stuff like Walter Hawkins and Thomas Whitfield and all that kind of stuff. Um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna play one right now, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, just um, West Coast sounds are pretty good because when I was watching Larry. Biddy did on yesterday. He had some class. I'm like, how did you got this? He said, man, when I was at the convocation, man, I had um, I had reached my hand to it. I said, dang. I said, okay, but you ain't gonna give it to me. And I, that's I, I really wanted to say that, but I'm like, man, this man don't even know me like that. So when I see him, I'm gonna see what he can do. He's from Chicago, I think. Oh, Marion, Illinois, I think. But yeah, man. <sighs>
ideas and give you and it make you be very creative man but these guys these wasn't these guys weren't black they weren't white they weren't chinese these was mexicans playing like black musicians all right i'm gonna um later on today i'm gonna give y'all a link i'm gonna say hey watch y'all watch this oh yeah my phone about to die so um i'll talk to y'all very soon my phone about to die i'll talk to y'all very soon let me let me hang up let me let me call it hold on let me see what I got. 